Bill Nye, the iconic science communicator, has spent over three decades making science simple and fun on the screen. His show Bill Nye the Science Guy became famous for turning boring topics into fun adventures filled with energy and wonder. He made learning about space exciting for kids and adults, showing how fun knowledge can be. Now, his eyes are on the James Webb Space Telescope, also called JWST, a powerful tool in the cosmos. Bill Nye says JWST's images are like stories told through light, not just data on a screen. The telescope is a massive engineering feat, built by NASA with help from Europe and Canada. It cost $10 billion and took 20 years to design before flying into the sky. The mirror of JWST is 21 feet wide, made of gold-coated pieces that fold out like origami in space. Unlike Hubble, which orbits the EARTH, JWST orbits the Sun at Lagrange Point 2, a stable position. This location keeps it in shadow, helping avoid Earth's light, so cosmic images stay clear. JWST uses infrared vision, which helps it see through dust and find hidden objects in the universe. While normal light can't pass dust, infrared can, showing stars, galaxies, and other deep wonders. One image of SMACS0723, a galaxy cluster, bent light to magnify ancient galaxies. This deep field photo shows thousands of galaxies in a patch as tiny as a sand grain at arm's length. Bill Nye calls JWST a cosmic time capsule, capturing light from early stars billions of years ago. Some galaxies appeared just 300 million years after the Big Bang, showing the dawn of time. It turns out early galaxies were more ordered and brighter than expected, challenging old models. This suggests unknown forces shape the early cosmos, changing how science views the universe. A huge discovery was water vapor in the atmosphere of WASP-96b, a distant planet. This gas giant lies 1,150 light-years away and reaches over 1,000 degrees Celsius, yet still holds water. Scientists use transit spectroscopy, watching light go through a planet's atmosphere to spot molecules. They found water, methane, and carbon dioxide, key signs of possible life on alien worlds. JWST studied TRAPPIST-1, a red dwarf star with seven Earth-sized planets, changing how we see EXOPLANETS. Three of these planets are in the habitable zone, where liquid water could exist and life might thrive. For example, TRAPPIST-1E might have a thin atmosphere with carbon dioxide, hinting at air around rocky worlds. Though not proof of life, this shows planets can keep atmospheres even with harsh stellar radiation. JWST also captures dying stars, such as the Southern Ring Nebula, a shell of GAS in space. In the center is a white dwarf, the core of a dead star cooling over billions of years. Studying these NEBULAS teaches us how stars send material back into the GALAXY, helping form new stars. In the Orion Nebula, a stellar nursery, JWST pierced dust and found planet disks. These disks of gas and dust spin around young stars, where planets slowly begin to form. Some have gaps made by new planets, showing planet formation in the galaxy. Bill Nye believes this could explain how Earth-like worlds are born, giving clues about our solar system. JWST even watches supernovae, like SN2022A, where a star's explosion spreads elements like nickel and cobalt. These heavy elements enrich space clouds, forming new stars and giving life elements like iron and calcium. Bill Nye calls this stellar alchemy, where the universe reuses material to create life from ashes. The MERE tool mapped the Large Magellanic Cloud, a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way. It revealed dust warmed by young stars, showing how galaxies change through cycles of birth and death. It even found PAHs, organic molecules and building blocks of life in deep space. JWST studies black holes too, 
like the one in Quasar J 1712 plus 282, which is 12 billion times heavier than the Sun. How such a giant black hole formed so early is still a cosmic mystery. Theories say they grew by eating gas and merging with others, but the speed still surprises scientists. Bill Nye reminds us JWS's data is free, so anyone on Earth can explore and learn from its images. A high school student in India even found a dwarf galaxy in JWST data, showing anyone can make discoveries. The telescope's cryogenic system keeps tools at 267 degrees Celsius, just 6 degrees Celsius above absolute zero. It uses helium gas to remove heat, a delicate process like balancing a pencil on the moon. If this system failed, the mission would end, but it works better than expected. JWST had fuel for 10 years, but thanks to a perfect launch, it may last 20 years or more. That means it can watch stars form that will live longer than humanity, showing the scale of cosmic time. JWST also affects culture, inspiring music, poetry, and art through its deep space photos. One composer even turned light data into sound, creating music from wavelengths seen by the telescope. Bill Nye says this proves both science and art help us seek truth and express being human. Some ask if spending billions on space is fair during an Earth climate crisis. Nye answers that technology from space helps us on Earth, like better medical tools and weather models. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.